this is Emily here from Brew Noobs, and tonight we are going to brew the, um, let's see, we've got the Brooklyn Brew Shop Afternoon Wheat. Let's take a look what's in the kit first. Um, first we've got a bag of hops. Uh, let's see. We've got some more stuff in here, it looks like. Uh, some little plastic bits, we've got a sanitizer packet and um, this plastic guy right here, this is the uh, the airlock um, that I'll demonstrate how to use later on. We have got a, an analog thermometer, it looks like, yep. Also in the kit we've got this guy, which is, the, this is part of a, um, a, a racking cane. Uh, the purpose of that is to help you transfer um, beer from the container that you ferment it in into um, uh, the container that you'll condition it in. So in this case, uh, that'll be this guy is your fermenter. This is a, a one gallon glass jug and um, where we'll condition it will be glass bottles. So we're going to recycle um, some normal beer bottles to facilitate that later on. Let's see, what else? We've got some plastic tubing here. This will come in handy for, um, I guess, for racking and, you know, bottling your beers. Um, and last but certainly not least, we've got our, uh, let's see, what do they call it? They call it beer making mix. <laughs> this will be our grains um, that you know we're going to combine with uh, some water and some sugars and and some yeast and turn this into beer. Um, you'll notice on the side of the box you've got a diagram that shows you kind of everything that's in the kit um, and a label. So if you want to pause it, pause the video right now, you can kind of look at this in depth and see what, everything that's in there. One thing that's important to note is that this kit doesn't quite, it doesn't quite come with everything that you need in order to brew your beer. Um, you'll need to pick up a couple of extra items. You may have some of them laying around your kitchen already. Um, so I believe it, it already mentions in the instructions on here, uh, it says you need a six quart pot. Um, I went with something bigger just because that's what I already have. Um, I think you'd probably want to just bump up to like an 8 quart pot if you already have that. Um, it calls for a fine mesh strainer, um, so this was something extra that I had to pick up, but it, uh, it'll fit within my pot nicely um, and help us strain um, all of these grains out of the boiled water once, we, um, once we've completed that first part of it, uh, first part of the brewing process. So. What else? Um, you'll also want a funnel then later on uh, if you don't if you don't have one you want to pick one up to help you transfer beer um, into our glass uh, fermenter container here. Um, let's see. And then one thing that's uh, kind of confusing about these kits is um, if you pull up any of the PDFs on their website they'll say um, that you want one container, like one, t one six quart container to help you with this brew process, but um, as I'll show you later on, you're going to actually need more than one container to transfer um, the beer around, especially as we're straining out the, um, the grains after we've boiled them. You end up needing more than one container to facilitate that, um, possibly up to three containers in order to get that to work out. So. Um, so definitely make sure you have at least two containers that will be able to hold um, more than a gallon of liquid. First step that we, uh, we should partake in on brew night is to um, grab a beer. So, cheers brew noobs. So, um, one of the reasons I bring this up is, if you look closely, this is a pry off cap. Um, you'll want this style of bottle, you know, pick your fav favorite beer or if you don't want to actually consume beer, you can, um, you can buy empty bottles on like Amazon or at your local homebrew shop. But it's so much more fun to just 
you know, drink a six pack or two um, over the course of the fermenting process so that by the end you've got your own bottles that you can bottle your, um, your Brooklyn Brew Shop beer into. Mm. Plus this helps make the rest of the brew night go a little faster. So now that we've got our beer in hand, um, the next thing that we'll need to look into is sanitizing. Mm -hmm. 